Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mel, this is Menace Mates and today I have the final video with the design team projects that I've made with the design team package from Show Us Man Crafts. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. So hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all okay. So today I'm going to be showing you the final projects that I've made with the design team package from Cheryl Simone Crafts. If you've never heard of Cheryl Simone Crafts, I'll leave her link in the description box below. I'll leave her YouTube link in the description box below, so please do go over to her channel. She's got some great brands in her shop at the moment. So she's got Cartabella, Echo Park, Prima, Doodlebug and some brands from American Crafts. So today I'm going to be showing you some of the final projects that I've made with the Hello Pink Autumn Collection by Prima. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you sign up for Shell's um, newsletter website, you'll get all the updates and information from her shop for all the latest news, discounts and products. So please do go and sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already. So I'm going to show you the projects that I've made in this final video showcasing the um, collection that I've used. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you liked today's video, then please do give this video a like, a comment, and a subscribe, and let's get into it. So the first project I've made is this. So this is a waterfall album. So I actually followed this tutorial from um, Lyric Lover Crafts. I'll leave her link in the description box below. She has some fab um, scrapbooking and flat mount ideas. So what I've done is I've just copied the tutorial from her channel and I've just um, used some of this orange cardstock. And this cardstock is from Lidl. And what I've done is I've then decorated the pages or the, um, the scrapbook pages here. And there's a couple of flaps here as well. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's one underneath as well. And what I've done is I've decorated the pages with the lovely pattern paper from the Prima Hello, um, Hello Pink Autumn collection. Now what I've done is I've used some of these die cuts that came with the um, design team package these are used as stoppers to make sure that you can actually tie the jute string around it the jute string just kind of adds a little bit of a touch on the front so if you wanted to close your scrapbook album then you can do so so what i've done is that you can leave a space here so you can actually put like a title so you can put like autumn or four photos for example and what you can do is you can just open the flaps one by one to put all your little pictures and your journaling spots. So you can put a picture here on this page, um, a photo or a bit of text on this page, um, a photo and text on this page. You can put some titles on there, you can put some labels on there, you can put some scrapbooking um, um, bits and pieces on there as well. So if you had like um, little scrapbook titles, little chipboards, for example, they'd be really good to use on this waterfall album. And this is a really kind of simple, um, simple make to to do. So it doesn't require a lot of card. For example, you can use these in maybe um, two or three pieces of card, and you can kind of make it as short or as small as you can. Um, this one has one, two, three, four, five. Uh, six seven and a one underneath but this will probably work with maybe five or six pages in them so i've shown you the pages so let me show you this pink one then we've got like this tartan one we've got this one with the knitting pattern or the jumper pattern and then we've got this one with the um the darker pattern as well and then you can actually um, put on a photo here I haven't decorated this page but you can put whatever you want so you can put some of the ephemera you can put some scrapbook pieces you can put an extra photo you can put some added text as well so those have a lot of space for little photos in there so this can be quite a small album if you really want it to be quite small you can put most, multiple photos on here if you have like um like four by four photos and they're the ones that look like the polaroid pictures put them in a square for example and then put a little bit of text here and um, if you decorated the flaps here um, with the pattern paper then you can obviously put, add additional photos and additional text as well but this is a really lovely album that I've just put together with um, some of the cards some of the patterned papers and some of the ephemera as well and I really love the added um, touch of the jute string as well and this just closes up here at the end I'll just show you what the back looks like so that's what the back looks like with the 
pink pattern paper with the um, tartan pattern on the back here with all the lovely lines. So this is just really, really cool. It's a really simple make to make as well. So I'm just going to tie this up so you guys know what it looks like when it's closed. And that's what it looks like when it's closed. This will make a really cool and um, full gift or if you have anybody that has um, a birthday in the middle of November or October, maybe early December, this is really good for kind of fall season craft make so this is a really lovely album to put together give this as a gift so they can put their own um, journaling pieces their own photos as well and i really really love that simple make so that is the waterfall album and the last products that i've made are these so these are flip books so i followed this tutorial by cheryl g i'll leave her link in the description box below so please do go over to her channel it's a really lovely flip book to make so i made one here with the collection so this has this is just made out of the paper and the card out of this lovely beautiful um paper pattern piece by prima and then we've got this one here that actually has the ephemera stuck on top of it and it has the full um sentiment on the front here and this has a plastic cover from the acetate that i used from the same collection so it's wrapped up in this lovely um acetate sheet which i really really love so that is what it looks like so what i'll do is i'll show you the albums one by one so this is the first one this has the word fall so this is a sentiment from the patterned paper from the a4 pad and then what I've done is I've stuck two of the flowers from the same collection on the front here. And then this is the first page. So we have um, a blank page here, so you can put some photos and some text on this side. This one actually has like a pocket, so I've just stuck some of the ephemera inside. The next page has this um, plain side, so again you can put some photos and some text on this side. And this has this a lovely um, photo cover from the um, A4 pad. So this says Hello Autumn on it. Then on this side we have another pocket. And this has some of the ephemera inside. This one on this page says Give Thanks. Again, this is a, um, a, cut, up, a cut apart piece from the A4 pad. Then we've got this one that says hello, this says four hugs on it. And it has a pocket on this side so you can put tickets or receipts for example or some photos. And then on this side we have this back page here for any photos or text. And then you have a pocket on the side here as well. So this um, album, this flipbook is really easy to make. I really love using the patterned papers and the tutorial is quite easy to follow as well. So please do go and check out um, Cheryl G's tutorial. It's really easy to follow along. Uh, I may do this for the how-to series, for example. If you um, would like that, then please do let me know. But this is a really lovely flipbook to make. So that is flipbook number one. The second one that I've made is this one. So this is using the acetate sheet that I got from the um package that i got so this is the lovely acetate um sheet it's absolutely beautiful i really really love this gorgeous cover so what i've done is i've just made a couple of amendments to the original tutorial so i've just stuck some of this um some of the ephemera and the sentiment of four on the front of this plastic acetate sheet and then what happens is you can just bend it over a little bit just to open the pages so this again has this blank space here so you can put some little notes some sentiments um, and some photos then this has a blank page here and then you can put again some photos and some text on this side on this side it says in all things give thanks again this is um the sentiment that's from the note cards that i got in the design team package Again, I'll leave the unboxing of the package in the description box below. So if you'd like to check that out, then please do. Then we've got our pockets on this side as well. So again, you can put all your receipts, um, any memorabilia that you want to put in there, die cuts, um, photos, for example, little bits of text. 
and then on this side we have a blank page where you can fit more photos and then this one actually has a pocket on this side again i've just made the amendment so that you can actually have a pocket on the inside so this is the middle page and on this we have a pumpkin spice and everything um nice um cut apart so again this is from the notes from the note cards the journaling cards on this side we have this blank space for more photos and text and then here we have another pocket so it's your fab because you can put all your little bits and pieces in there little scrapbooking elements as well and then here we have um, this one that says hello fall again from the note cards and then we've got the pocket on this side so those are a few of the amendments that i've made to the original tutorial i've just added more pockets in this one so you actually have space to to write things down and journal things for example fit in a few more photos and more space to actually put some text and some more bigger photos as well and then of course you have the blank page at the back and then you have this lovely um acetate sheet cover as well so i really loved making the flip book it's really fun to make so these are the two that i made for the final projects with the design team package so i hope you guys have enjoyed that video hope you guys have enjoyed these projects if you like this video then please do give this video a like a comment and a subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video